so let us see synchronous counters and uh, before we go ahead let us uh, revise what are counters a counter is essentially a register that goes through a predetermined sequence of states upon the application of clock pulses so there are two types of counters asynchronous counters and synchronous counters asynchronous counters also called as ripper counters in this the clock signal is only used to clock the first flip flop not the other ones each flip flop is co clocked by the preceding flip flop means every flip flop which is uh, preceding the next flip flop is actually giving the input as a clock okay only the first flip flop will be getting the input from the clock while the synchronous counters the clock signal clk is applied to all ff all flip flops which means that all flip flop shares the same clock signal so the output is going to change at the same time for all of them we have mod or you can say modulus counters the number of state it counts before it recounts or get back to its initial state so the number of flip flops used uh, depends on the mod of the counter that is if you have mod 4 you use two flip flop because 2 to the power 2 is 4 if you have mod 8 flip flop you have to use three flip flop 2 to the power 3 is 8 example is mod 4 ripple asynchronous up counter okay now let us get down to synchronous counters now what is a synchronous counters a synchronous counter in contrast to a asynchronous counter is one which output bits changes state simultaneously with no ripples okay let me re-say it is one whose output bits change state simultaneously means together with no ripple the only way we can build such a counter circuit from jk flip-flop is to connect all the clock inputs together this is a clock this is a clock input for first one second one third one and fourth one so that each and every flip-flop receives the exact same clock pulse at the exact same similar time now the question is what do we do with j and k inputs we know that we still have to maintain the same divide by two frequency pattern in order to count in a binary sequence and that this pattern is best achieved utilizing the toggle made of the uh, this spot toggling mode of the flip-flop so the fact that j and k inputs must both be means at times high is clear however if we simply connect all the j and k inputs to the positive rail of the power supply as as we are doing here as we did in the synchronous circuit also this would clearly not work because all the flip-flops would toggle at the same time with each and every clock pulse so nothing will be uh, nothing will be retrieved you know the result will be not what we intended for because every every input is one club this this clock is simultaneously ch changing the state so the circuit will not function as a counter at all so synchronous counter a four bit synchronous up counter will be like this okay this flip-flop toggles on every pulse right this flip-flop toggles only if q0 is high this flip-flop toggles only if q0 and q1 is high or they are high and this flip-flop toggles only if q0 q1 and q2 are high okay now this is and first and this is okay this is going to toggle no problem with that because uh, we allow it to be but this cannot be toggled you know this cannot be uh, change changing states at one equal clock timing so this will be dependent only on q0 this will be dependent on q0 and q1 
and this will be dependent on q0 q1 and q2 so this AND gate see this is AND gate where is it getting the output or input from it is getting input as this q0 and q1 so q0 and q1 together decides what goes inside uh, q q0 q1 uh, to q2 and this q2 and q3 decides what goes inside q3 okay so a four bit this this was the up counter and this four bit uh, synchronous down counter will be this flip flop again toggles on every clock pulse because the clock is simultaneous while this flip flop toggles only if q naught or this q zeros complement is high and this flip flop it toggles it changes state only if q0 dash and q1 dash or complement goes high and this works of flip toggles only when q0 q1 and q2 their complement they go high okay that is why this is a 4 bit synchronous down counter so how to design synchronous counter for synchronous counter all the flip flops are using the same clock signal thus the output would change synchronously so the procedure of designing a synchronous counter are as step one is obtain the state diagram then obtain the excitation table very important excitation table if you are not aware please go back and see learn excitation excitation table because I am going to use it directly it plays a very vital and pivotal role so obtaining the excitation table using state uh, transition table for any particular flip-flop like JK or D and determine number of uh, flip-flop used first we have to find how many you know flip-flops we need to use then obtain and simplify the function of each flip-flop using Carnot map and then draw the circuit according to what we achieve in the scheme map so first is first is obtain the state diagram we have to design a mod for synchronous up counter using jk flip flop obtain the state transition diagram like this 0 1 2 3 change it to binary 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 this is how the state uh, transition diagram is achieved now the excitation table two jk flip flop are being used okay let us first uh, get down to the actual excitation table of jk you we know it very well we have done it several times this is the pre present state this is the next state this is how j changes zero one this is a don't care because while this we are governing this was changing from zero to one in the uh, you know the truth table so that is why this is don't care this is don't care this is don't care this is don't care j is 0 1 and k is 1 0 if these combinations are, are there this is the present state this is the next state now again let us name them q n q n plus 1 as b or a okay b a now this is j a k this is j b k b first uh, this for a for this is for a j a k and this is for b j k b j k j j n k b right now i have directly copied the versioning or the excitation table values here okay take this b take this a take this b take this b and with this b a for this b a we have present state is this and for this b a this uh, next state is this okay this i took directly from here and now we i need to obtain the simplified function using k map right this a and b for this i took it as 0 x 1 x 0 0 this uh, 0 1 x x or x x 0 0 this we have to take okay j j b 
for JB, for KB, for JA, KA, for all these four, we have to find the excitation table. So what I have done, I have used directly A and B and found that, okay, this is the combination, so JB is directly A. This is the combination for uh, KB, this is KB, this is KB, okay, directly writing KB and um, this is JA for this I am writing JA 1x 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 and finally this uh, KA K writing x1 x1 so x1 x1 combining this all it gives K is a 1 combining this all it gives J is, is 1 this is JB equal to A and KB equal to A so this is how the circuit diagram is going to be how this JB or the input because the inputs are J and K only so this is J A this is K A this is J B and this is K B right so J A and K A J A and K are, are both one so I place it as directly one one logic while J B and K B J B and K B are A they are A so I took A directly to JB and K, right? This is how our mod for synchronous up counter will be made. And how to design synchronous counter? Let us employ this technique to design a mod 8 counter to count in the following sequence 0 to 7 to, um, uh, you know, uh, the step 1 is it is determined flip flop used and creating state, uh, you know, state transition diagram like this. So n is equal to 2 key power n and uh, 8 is equal to 2 key power n and n is equal to log 8 by log 2 taking log of both sides so n is 3 and m is 2 to the power n minus 1 so this is how the values are been found this is 8 you just take 8 is equal to 2 to the power n and you can find n and the value the highest value till which it is going to compute or count is 2 to the power n minus 1 that is 7 where n is the modulo or mod small n is the flip flop which we are going to use and m is the maximum number to be count so how to design a synchronous counter as we, as I earlier uh, mentioned creating preset uh, pre present state uh, next state table this is a present state this is a next state q0 q1 q2 q0 q1 q2 and this we see that q0 is qa because how we made this like in a k map and q1 we achieved qb qt q2 we say at qc and expanding the present state next uh, this present state next state table to transform to a uh, transition table this is the excitation table of jk as uh, i earlier uh, mentioned so this present state and next state according to this our j a k a j q j b k b j k j c k c will be written like this okay once it is written we'll go to the carnot map and this carnot map will certainly give us you th this uh, identify the present state logic function for each of the input for example for for g2 we get uh, this combination Okay, JC we get uh, JC basically it is QB QA for KC we get this and finally finding uh, the values through Carnot map we receive all these values and then as we receive all these values we can directly make our counter you can say or a flip flop combination. So this is JA, this is KA. Now Q0 goes to JB and q0 goes to kb but the combination of the and, and of q0 and q1 goes to jc and directly to kc this is the direct values qb into q a go to kc okay so this is how we design a synchronous counter so how to design um, synchronous counter that count random number to design a synchronous count to count 47302 respectively using jk flip-flop and negative triggered by showing we we use flip-flop 
we then straight di uh, transition diagram are been represented and then excitation table present state and next state then Carnot mapping and perform simplified function and the synchronous counter similar fashion as we did in the earlier case so synchronous counter to count 4 7 3 0 and 2 respectively the step 1 is that flip flop used find modulo and is equal to 2 to the power n how much is m is highest is 7 so m is 2 to the power n minus 1 that is 7 so 2 to the power n is what this is 8 the so mod 8 and 2 to the power n is 8 that means we require 3 flip flop so I hope you got the idea only the methods which uh, we were we using in the previous this example this this kind of example or other example because this is you know synchronous we have to have all these corner map and excitation table introduced so that we can achieve the desired synchronous counter and this is how we can design the random number counter also thank you so much take care